Hello everybody. Uh, coming to a close of a chapter, I guess, of uh, this year in the garden and the homestead. And uh, I thought I would do a uh, video today. Uh, it's a couple of days before Thanksgiving and uh, I kind of want to share with y'all what I'm thankful for. I've got to first off, uh, always give credit to God for everything. God has blessed me and my family this year. Uh, even through some tough times, losing my father this year and uh, and some trials uh, financially and all this year. Uh, but he's always there to bless us. And I've got to thank him first and foremost. Second thing I'm thankful for is uh, my family. I've got a good family. My wife is amazing. She puts up a lot for me, and uh, there's no other woman like her. And uh, she does a real good job keeping keeping up with our house and our kids and all. And uh, you know, I manage a, a store and uh, have quite a few employees, but uh, I don't think I could do the job she does and keep up with it and uh, do it with the patience she's got. I'm thankful that God's blessed me with kids. Uh, I've got four beautiful kids. Uh, God's really uh, led them and uh, and made them into some great kids. I'm also very thankful for the community that I've joined here on YouTube. I've met a lot of good people. I got really inspired watching others' videos and. Uh, communicating to them uh, or with them through YouTube and uh, I thank all of y'all for the inspiration that you brought me this past year uh, and all of my subscribers and, and uh, people that's left comments uh, I appreciate it I appreciate the uh, kind words you know there's a lot of uh Others that I have watched uh, their videos and kept up with their uh, challenges this last year with the drought, the summer, and uh, the lack of rain, uh, the record-breaking heat waves that we had across the country, and then other parts we had uh, major flooding. But uh, I don't think I could have kept going and doing what I was doing without uh, all of you guys out there that uh, encouraged me and and uh, when I did do something that was okay, I, I posted it here on YouTube and uh, y'all were able to kind of see our progress and uh, left some kind comments and all. But that's what it's about. It's community and uh, this is a uh, international community that we all belong to that uh, we can share our thoughts and ideas with and uh, that's something to be thankful for that we have that uh, in our uh, society today. Just a quick run through here before I conclude this video uh, to kind of show you what I've got here in the garden. Uh, it's uh, a couple of days before Thanksgiving and uh, we've still got tomatoes. Uh, we've been picking off these the last week. Uh, still a lot of green ones on here, uh, but uh, we have really uh, gotten a lot of tomatoes uh, this fall, uh, surprisingly. Still got black eyed peas here in the garden. Uh, we've had a couple of frosts now that uh, uh, has put frost on the windshields and all and uh, but thankful to God that it hasn't touched the garden yet uh, we're just gonna keep trying these and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to pick these here pretty quick and have a uh, late November surprise of some fresh black eyed peas I'm not gonna admit or tell anybody that I'm sick of green beans but I will tell you I've been sick of picking them uh, we've really got a lot of green beans this year and this fall has, has definitely done better than the spring garden we had. Of course I've got my lettuce and uh, spinach. I've got several rows of this planted throughout the garden that's uh, coming up and doing real well. I've also got about a 25 foot row of uh, cabbage that I planted a little late but uh, it's, it's come up okay and we'll see what happens once that cold weather gets here. Peppers are another thing we've been picking a whole lot of. Uh, 
I just I keep telling myself I may just start being a, a fall garden uh, pepper grower. Uh, but we just didn't get anything in the summertime and this fall, man, it's just been uh, outstanding. The jalapenos as well has been still doing real well. We've already uh, canned some jalapeno jelly and some other things and plan on continuing to do that. I'm not going to turn my seed collection in to be a cotton farmer, but uh, man, we have had a lot of good luck with this cotton this year. There's a little bit bigger cabbage over here on this side of the garden. That's uh, doing okay. Looks like something's been munching on this one. None of my okra has uh, gotten really tall this year. It's just been kind of short stumped uh, plants, but uh, it's sure produced a lot. And last but not least, uh, of course, as you would uh, seem normal in November to have planted in the garden, I've got my sweet peas. I've got two different trellises that I've got these growing on two different sides of the garden. And uh, they're doing good. Been putting off a few peas that we've picked. But that's pretty much it for a garden tour of what I've got growing in November. Well, those are just some of the few things that I'm, I'm thankful for that I mentioned on here. There's, there's plenty more. Uh, time permitting, I'm not going to give you all of them or list all of them. But uh, I do appreciate y'all watching the videos. And uh, we'll see y'all later.